Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design. Today I am doing a collab video with my BFF Rini from the Enchanted Planner. We both came up with the same idea <laughs> for a planner video and that is to share with you 10 ways in which you can decorate your planner, how to get ideas for the themes to decorate your planner. So why did I choose this sticker book? Why did I choose this sticker book? Like why you choose the stickers for that week? So that is the theme of today's video. I'm going to share with you 10 ways to get inspired by themes for your planner spreads. And then I want you to pop to the link down below, which would be Rini's video. And she's going to share with you 10 ways as well. They might be the same. They might be different. Who knows? Now, the reason why I do this and why I pre-plan what planner theme I'm going to use each week for the month ahead, I generally just do it a month ahead, is because it just takes out the decision fatigue. And I say this every month in my setup, but there's nothing worse than sitting down on a a Sunday, usually I'll do mine like Thursday, Friday, I'll sit down and I'll plan the next week and it's just like which of the gajillion sticker books do I use? Because I I don't know. Whereas I I know that's my birthday. Okay, what do I want to what do I want to do for my birthday? And um, do I want to use the Zodiac book? Do I want to use my favorite color? Do I want to do my favorite Disney character? What what speaks to me? about this week for me. So that's why we pre-plan. And I'll just put a little sticky note in here with the planner theme idea. And then when I come to do that, that's that's my, and I, I can ch change my mind if I want to, it doesn't matter, it's not set in stone. So yeah, that's why I, I, you can do you, that's why I pre-plan my planner theme spread ideas. All right, my first one is going to be if you're just interested in using your stash and you're like, I want to go through my stash, but I get bored of the same thing every week, then have your stash set up so that they're in piles and be like, okay, I'm going to work from right to left. This week, I'm using Go Wild. Once you've used Go Wild, it goes to the bottom of your stash. The next week, okay, now I'm using a line. You've used it, it goes to the bottom of your stash. Now I'm using Disney Farmhouse, it goes to the bottom of your stash. Now I'm using Planner Essentials, it goes from the bottom of your stash. And you just go from the top all the way through and you just keep cycling through until you have no stash left, which let's face it, will never happen. We have birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, and special events. So I think about things like this. This was my poppy spread for Remembrance Day, Veterans Day last year. So you might just want to do a spread all about a holiday, a birthday, something that is special for you. And I've got more examples of this here because clearly the holidays are coming up. So December, this is, was my Christmas spread for December. I love this spread, but maybe it's a holiday. Maybe it's a, a birthday. And if it's something like an anniversary, like this one was for me, make it special for you. So this one for me was hot air balloons because we got married in a hot air balloon. For this year, I did one all about Vegas because we got married in a hot air balloon in Vegas. So think about doing a kind of a theme associated specifically for what you're doing. And as we think about other events, this is the same kind of thing. This was for Polycystic Kidney Disease Day, which was on the 4th. So I did a spread all about that. So think about events and stuff like that that are specific for you. Birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, or special events. What do you have and how would you celebrate it? All right, number three, on a similar vein to birthdays, anniversaries, etc., etc., is the weird holidays. The weird and wonderful holidays. So for weird holidays, I'm thinking about Doctor Who Day and... When you think about this, it could be that you just do some printables, that you do some stuff like that, but weird holidays. This one was for video game day. So there are a lot, a lot of weird holidays out there that you really probably don't know about. I will put a website down below called Brownie Locks where you can find some weird and wonderful holidays 
if you're on my email list again the link will be down below then you'll get those every month I share a few and I even offer suggestions on books that you can use printables and stuff like that like how you would how you could use it so if you want to get on my list the link is in the description I'm helping you use your stash Number four on our planner theme ideas is that you can do a planner challenge. Now, if you haven't done a planner challenge before, I'm going to suggest that you go to Instagram and literally just put in hashtag planner challenge because a lot of things will pop up and you might have to scroll a bit to see some of the, the challenge images, but just follow, go down the rabbit hole and follow some of the links. This was a planable challenge for citrus squeeze was the, the prompt and I had this green and yellow spread that fitted that so I did that. This was my spread for No Sticker November and that was the Planet TNT challenge that Rini and I host and that is just a challenge that helps you use your stash. Again, hashtags will be down below in the comments. The fifth suggestion on planner themes is to think about color combos. So when you think about color combos, it could just be that you do a spread that is just one color. This is one color, this teal color. That was from my challenge this year for um, PKD Day. So it could just be that you do the color and gold, the color and different shades of that color, like a monochromatic spread, something like that. Think about something outside of the box. What crazy color combinations can you come up with in your stash and come up with something for your planner spreads. Tip number six, and one of the hardest challenges for me, is doing one book wonders. I have got better at that, but that is basically you take your sticker book and you're only allowed, only allow, allowed to use stickers from that one book. So maybe that is something that you want to think about, just using one book and one book only for your planner spread for your planner month, for your monthly, for whatever. Like you're only allowed to use that one book and use your stash. Number seven is to pair up your sticker books. Now, Rini has some fabulous videos all about like pairing up different books that kind of match the same shades. Cause let's face it, Happy Planner uses some really weird shades, but mix up your books, mix up your, your sticker book. So for this spread, I have the villainous book with the girl with goals i've mixed both in this planner spread so that might be something that you do and especially this is what i say all the time if you're going to buy books and you're not sure about it if it's black or the majority is black or a neutral color pick it up anyway because it can go with something else especially if it's cheap only if it's cheap now this is another example and again i'm talking about the villainous book here but this was the villainous book but this time I paired it with the Hustle and Heart because the foil matches the foil in the Villainous stickers because it had this really weird like metallic green foil and that kind of brings the pair your new stuff, the stuff that you've just bought, look through your stash, what old thing do you have, what old stickers do you have that will match that? New and old. So pair up any books and then pair up something new with something old. All right, tip number nine, and that is to recreate. If you know that you have some stickers and you have more than enough to make another spread, this was one that just came to mind for me because I've recreated it recently. This was in my dashboard and I took the same idea, I took the same idea and recreated it in my monthly. And this was for October of this year. This was March of last year, and this was October of this year. So I've just taken the same stickers, they're the same, like the same concept, the black with the minions, and then taken black and minions and done the same thing. Stop trying to recreate the wheel. If you really like something, just do the same thing the whole time. Just do it again. Just do it again. If you really like it, just do it again, do it again, do it again. Repeat, repeat, repeat. All right, tip number 10 is if you see something online and you're like, oh, I have that sticker book. I use that layout. I have that printable. I have those stickers, whatever it is. And you like the way that they've used those stickers, 
Just recreate the damn thing. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel. It's just planner stickers. So I have a video all about how to get inspired from content creators. I will leave that link here. But yeah, there are tons of ways to get inspired by the content that you see on social media. So take some of the tips in that video as well and put them in your planners. All right, I hope that helped give you some inspiration for planner theme ideas. Don't forget to check out Reading's video in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and ring the notification bell so that you get updates when I upload a new video. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.